If you are looking to create your own art content for stream avatars, this video is for you. This video will cover avatar and gear sprite sheets and avatar palette swaps. A few recommended art programs are A Sprite, Pixel Edit, Photoshop, and GIMP. We will be using A Sprite as an example. A single frame of this sprite will comfortably fit into a 64 by 64 pixel box. It's smart to leave a bit of padding for animations. Most art programs have a grid feature that can be found under the View dropdown. Adjust the grid settings to have the width and height of a single frame of your avatar. In this case, it is 64 by 64. Make sure there's no remainder space on the height or width. Crop your sprite sheet to be the correct size. As you can see, most of these sprites are out of position from the grid. We have to reposition them to fit correctly in their frames. Unless you want the avatar to float above the ground, you will want to position the avatar so that the feet are touching the bottom of the frame. Next, you have to position your sprites horizontally. To accomplish this, you can use the approximate center. For this avatar, the head does not move from the center. This is useful for keeping the positioning consistent for each frame. If there are stray pixels, it will cause the animation to flicker. To fix this, you can clean off empty frames by deleting pixels. The first five animations are presets as idle, walk, sit, stand, and jump. After the first five, you can create custom animations. This one will be called hover. It is recommended to keep avatar frame size under 80 by 80 pixels and to have less than 10 frames per animation. If you keep the avatar sprite simple, it will be easier to add customizations. Now that we are finished with the avatar sprite sheet, we can add it to stream avatars. Click Open Folder, Select the Avatars folder, then drag and drop your sprite sheet into this folder. After clicking Save and Reload, your avatar should be viewable in the Avatars and Gear panel. For width and height, put the same values that we use for the grid, 64 by 64, then click Apply. If you want to adjust the size of the avatar, you can change the scale. If your avatar is considered pixel art, it is recommended to keep the scale as 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, or 2. You can adjust the speed that each animation plays and also change the name of custom animations. There are advanced options for controlling how the animations behave, such as how many times an animation will repeat, whether it returns to idle when completed, or if it targets another avatar. Creating gear is similar to creating an avatar. Create a new folder with the name of your new gear set inside the gear folder. For this example, we will name it hats. Drop the gear image into the hats folder, then click Save and Reload. Now you can add the hat gear set as an allowed gear for the avatar. Select the hats gear set, and then select your newly added gear piece. You can reposition all gear pieces within the set by selecting a frame and using the arrow keys to move it around. If you want a gear piece to have a special position that is unrelated to other gear pieces within the set, you can click Has Unique Position. To change the sorting order of the gear piece, you can change the Z index. This also has an option to have a unique Z index. 
There are also two advanced gear animation options called Animated and Frame Animated. For Animated, you can create a single row sprite sheet. Set the width value to be the width of each frame. For Frame Animated, you can create a new layer on top of the avatar sprite sheet and draw your gear piece over each frame of the avatar. This is useful for having an avatar wear something like shoes. When you are done, hide the avatar layer and save the gear sprite sheet to the gear folder and click Frame Animated. Lastly, you can create different color palettes to add more variety to your avatar. Click the plus button to add a new color to the base palette, then click the color. Click the eyedropper tool and select a color on the avatar. Repeat this for each color that you want to swap. Then enter a name for a palette swap and click Create. Now you can change the colors on the bottom row. You can see how the base color will swap to the color directly below it. Gear pieces can also use this palette swap as long as it uses the same base colors as the avatar. To enable this, click Use Palette Swap. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials related to stream avatars, look below the video or go to streamavatars.com forward slash documentation.